Hi to everyone. I just um, I just want to offer a short, quick lesson uh, about um, in regard to the piece which I played on the Open Studio uh, yesterday, and this is uh, how my heart sings. And I'll put a link to my recording from yesterday, just that you can hear how I applied what I'm talking about. And also, um, of course, I'll put a link to the Bill Evans recording of that tune. Um, here is just the um, just the first section. Yeah, this is just the first eight measures. Um, the real great tunes in jazz, I believe, are the ones that are um, presenting themselves as a really clear vehicle uh, for us to work on something specific. Um, the ones that don't leave much even um, question as to what do we need to do with them uh, are, are the ones I think that have become so popular because teachers have been using them. To name just a few, I think Mech the Knife is amazing because of its rhythmic boom, boom, ding, to come clarity. Uh, tune up is great because it um, teaches you how to play in different um, keys. Because tune up goes. And then. Take five, of course, because it's in five, and it you know teaches you how to play with the blues scale, the E flat blues scale. So anything bluesy and E flat in five, that's a great vehicle for that. Blue room, um, yeah, there's there are a lot, and, and you know all the things you are. And of course, blue bossa, which is great for Latin feel and also for using C minor blues scale. Um, and with that in mind, you know, I think for this piece, uh, I think that what I would advise for you to do after you learn uh, the melody, and this is in the real book, in my real book, uh, which is the fifth edition. It's in page. 204 and it may be in another page in, in the other in the sixth edition which most people seem to have and so after you you know you learn the melody in three I think what you want to do is a few simple things one is you want to play uh, the left hand just like that. So I'm playing the roots and thirds and sevens, what we call the shell for each chord. One, three, and seven, one, seven, and three. And I would practice that in two ways. One is as a quarter note and a half note. One, two, three, one, two, three. And the other way afterwards you want to practice is maybe as two eight notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Here's the melody with both ways. I think to focus on, on a particular uh, aspect of uh, that you can use this vehicle, this this vehicle for. And the other thing I would do is I would take each chord. Here is the first chord. And I know those are things that some of you are still not familiar with. And um, you know, uh, if you ever want to do lessons, let me know. Um, 
So I'm playing the one, three, five, seven of the chord, but then I also go one, three, five, seven, three, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, eleven, and then seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. And this is my structure for the minor chord. So here is the first chord. the second chord and the third one all of those are minor seven chords and beyond that you can start your soloing on those four notes the one three five seven for example but you can also do the same thing from the three to the nine or from the 5 to the 11 or and you can do it from the 7 to the 13 or and of course you can also do it backward so that is a great thing to work on and at a later point we can talk about you know those structures for um, you know the dominant chords and the major seven chords but I, th I thought that would be like a nice little like suggestion to give for the day and like I said before I'm going to link to my um, recording uh, edition it's this yeah which is strange and in the sixth edition it's listen to the difference between this story with that. that that tune was the one I was working on with my ear training class at NEC just as COVID started and so that became for me the tune I always will remember that tune because that's when we switched online like on what was it Monday I was still there on Wednesday we went home and then we never came back until now which is a year and a half later I've been teaching exclusively online now for a year and a half. I only had my first physical lesson, in-person lesson, just a couple of weeks ago with one, uh, you know, uh, young student who lives in my neighborhood, and she comes here. We sit with two masks, with a fan between us, on two different pianos. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's the little uh, lesson for today. Hope you uh, enjoy it, and hope you can make use of that. And thank you for letting me share the knowledge and the experience. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Okay. 
Have a nice day wherever you are.